She doesn't read the the, um, the caption. There's um there's there's something in the book actually. If I can just draw your attention to it briefly, um, page four, line two. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to remember. Um, and it's just a little description that so reminds me of Joan. How ugly most of them are. Where do they come from? With their with their werewolf teeth, their hideous tattoos, their greasy hair, their pierced ears, noses, tongues, and nipples, and fat. So many are bursting out of their jeans, their white bellies exposed in all their cellulite ugliness, wearing nothing but a t-shirt, with stupid slogans that mean nothing. Not one elegant jacket, not one nice t-shirt, just shorts and jeans and crop tops and pale, ugly skin spilling out of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's you! <laughs> so, but the, uh, but, the, but Joan has always known how to dress and she considered, I remember once being, once trying to go somewhere with Joan, and she, and she insisted if we were to go, I had to go and buy a shirt. She's always known, and always known as turnout, and she does it as a sign of respect to the people she's, she's, um, she's, she's, she's with. This energy that she puts into life is, as I say, it's an inspiration, and, um, and, uh, and it's been a real pleasure to know you. Now, after that, yeah. Can we have like... Yeah, but really, well, you've just read one of the things that I was going oh, really? to read. We're going to chat with each other. I'm so sorry. So I'll miss that bit out. Um, I think I it's not coming say, from you. Know, I said, Percy <laughs> and I did not have a son. You were the son that Percy and I had. Well, it's so much better the way I said it. <laughs> <laughs> because he might have been the, my son, who was never looked at you the same way. Coming up, uh, um, John Darn, name cop. But um, I think when you write, you need to put bits of people in to make it interesting. And so mm. I have a vision of all these people. But what is totally uh, non-fiction 
and Turtle Hill are all the places that I write about. Every hotel, every snack bar, every bar, every beach bar, every restaurant, every disco, and there's a lot more of that, are all real. So um, when that makes it, for those of you who've been to Santa Fe and those of you who haven't, I think that it might give you a good um, a feeling of the place. And it is, I think, an absolutely magical, magical place. And I can't wait to go there year after year. Of course, after this book, I don't know, they may not let me <laughs>
Excuse me. Would you be able to take a photo of us with Joan in the back? 